We're heading back to Europe and this time we've got 10 days to explore as much as possible in our self-built camper van. But first we've got to get from the UK over to France. So let's catch you up on our journey so far. And that is you guys, all caught up. We'll explain exactly what we're gonna be doing on this trip in a while. But for now, Lola's been in the van for way too long today and yesterday. So it's time to burn off some energy. I'll tell you guys one thing, you cannot beat France for park-ups and most of the time they're completely free. I'll show you the park-up we're at at the moment a little bit later on. But it's about two hours outside of Paris. We were initially going to be driving to Paris as soon as we got off the boat. But after finishing work last night and driving straight down to Dover, getting up really early this morning and then getting the ferry, we just didn't fancy our chances for another five hour drive from Calais to Paris. But we've stopped in an air. Look how gorgeous it is in this area. You seriously cannot fault France on their free airs and the weather certainly helps. So I've told you how good this park up is, surrounded by amazing nature in the glorious sunshine. But now, let's show you. And that is our cracking little air that we're calling home for the night. And like with most airs in France, it's complete with all your camper van services, like emptying your black water, filling up on water, but they do come at a charge. But to stay the night, completely free. And the cherry on top of the cake is a short walk away. You've got this lovely quaint French town that you can explore on foot right from the park up. It's a lovely little place to walk around and just take in the Frenchness of it all. It's really, really nice. So if you're jumping off the ferry or the Eurotunnel into Calais, this might be a really good stop to break up your journey down to Paris and beyond. But now I think it's time to go back to the van, relax after a very tiring drive, recuperate a little bit and prepare for our time in Paris tomorrow. But before we head to bed for a well needed sleep, it's time to cook up a delicious meal for our first night in France.
Morning lads, today's the day we go to Paris. Finally made it to Paris. Well, a day later than planned, we finally made it to Paris. Bit of a stressful drive getting in here. There was an accident as we came into the greater Paris area. So that was quite fun. But driving in Paris on the whole, not too bad. Not too bad. We didn't drive the infamous roundabout, the Arc de Triomphe. Didn't think we could handle that. We parked just outside of Paris. It was about a 52 minute walk from the Eiffel Tower, 30 minutes to the Arc de Triomphe. I'll put a clip of it on the screen at the moment. It's underground, completely safe. And we just fancied our chances better leaving the van there than in a street somewhere randomly. And it's a three meter height restriction. So we've seen reviews, people taking motorhomes, which is really good. And we finally made it to the Eiffel Tower. Couldn't have picked a better day for it. It's scorching hot. It's still got the Olympic five rings on it. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, there's signs for the Olympics, obviously the Paralympics as well, I've only just finished, so... And there's even, yeah, the five rings on the Eiffel Tower itself, so we've seen it from above. Now let's go and see the Eiffel Tower up close and personal. Well, we've made it to our home for the night. Another air here in France, basically halfway between Paris and Dijon. Dijon's our next stop over the next day or so. But we're going into a small little town that we're next to tomorrow. Oxery. I'm butchering that, obviously. So yeah, we're really hoping to get on this air tonight because for the first time ever, we're going to be trying out our shower tent, which we're very excited for because we're both very tired and we've spent all day walking about Paris. We ended up doing about 17,000 steps and pretty much walked for four and a half hours solid. But yeah, that parking in Paris only came to 19 euro 60, which I think parking in Paris, that's pretty good. But the joys of being in a city, when we left Paris and started our drive down to this air, it said it was gonna take us three hours and it ended up taking us about four and a half. So it's 20 past seven in the evening and we left at like three o'clock. As much as we like going into the big cities and seeing all the culture and the history, we much prefer to be surrounded by trees rather than buildings. So now it's time to rest up, have some dinner and jump in our shower tent. I can't wait.
Good morning from France. Morning, Lulu. Hey, Joe. Morning. Well, it's another glorious day here in France. And it's a bit of a slow morning this morning. I thought we'd take this morning, slow down a bit and just relax. Today, Rosie won't be joining us on our adventures. So if you're regular viewers of our Europe series, you'll know that every month for a day, Rosie didn't join us on our adventures. And we never really explained why. And we won't. I'm Catwoman. <laughs> <laughs> I turn into a werewolf. So I'm not feeling the best for many reasons today. So I will be staying in the van, enjoying the comfy bed whilst Naz goes out and explores with Lola. But first, we're gonna enjoy a very healthy breakfast here. What are we having? We're having vegan croissants and Naz is having the pan chocolat. Health. But yeah, we're starting things off with a healthy breakfast this morning and then quick 20 minute drive down to Oxary to explore and then head on to Dijon. So whilst Rosie's heating up our croissants Ow! for the small... Lola? <laughs> she bit inside my nose. So whilst Rosie's heating up the croissants for this morning, I'm gonna give Lola a well needed brush because we've been in the van for two days. I've just sweeped the floor and the amount of hair, ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, let's give her a brush. So now that we've had our breakfast, it's time to pack the van up, leave this air. If you're driving in this area of France, I want a really nice cheap air for the night. I'll pop the what three words and the location down below. It's a really stunning place and not too expensive either. It's time to fill up on water, get the van packed up and head 20 minutes down the road to another French town that I'm going to take you along and explore. Bye. No parties when I'm gone. Back on the road for a little solo mission. This is actually a backup pack that we were gonna stay in last night and it's free. There are no services, but yeah, it's pretty good. There's loads of camper vans here. So definitely if that air was taken and you needed somewhere to stay, you could come down here. But yeah, solo mission now. And I've just got my first glimpse of this town and it looks amazing. So let's go check it out. Well, what a cracking little place that was. If you're ever in the area, it's definitely worth a visit. It's so rich in architecture and history and the buildings, everything about it was just amazing. And I'm pretty sure I was the only tourist there, which is 
sometimes quite nice after you explore Paris for a day and realise just how busy cities are. But this one didn't feel like that at all. Around every corner was something else to see. So definitely glad I paid it a visit. But now it's time to head back to the van, check up on Rosie and head to our next destination. There she is. What have you been doing? Chilling. Sleeping? No. All right, folks, let's head to Dijon. Well, that last clip of us driving, we went to a park up and we just got weird vibes from there. And you know Rosie's saying, <laughs> Don't feel good in a place, don't stay in a place. And we didn't feel good in that place. So we've moved on about 10 minutes up the road, 10 minutes closer to Dijon actually. And we're actually in a park for night. I'll put the what three words on the screen at the moment as well as the park for night code. It hasn't got the best reviews, but we've got you and it's stunning. Isn't that right? Yeah, it's beautiful. There's a uh, swimming lake just in front of us. The bad reviews were basically about the road noise and the train, but I don't think it'll be an issue. But before we go chill on the beach, it's time to cook up some food. Well, our grand plans of sitting on the beach, having a few drinks and going for a dip have been cut short because straight after that food, Rosie completely knocked out and now she's fast asleep. She's had a pretty hard day, bless her. She's not been feeling the best and I don't think I'll be that far behind her. We've had a really busy last three days, obviously getting from the UK to France and then visiting Paris and doing all the driving to get as far down as Dijon. And now that we're in Dijon and we're three days into the trip, it's time to end this video and tomorrow marks the start of the next one. For this 10 day France trip, we wanted to change how we were filming these videos and change the pace of them entirely. Make it more of a slow paced video and let you into how van life actually is and film the smaller details that we experience every day when living in a van, other than just the places we choose to visit. And we've really tried to implement that over the last couple of days with how we've been filming and what we've chose to film. So we really hope you've enjoyed it. Let us know down in the comments what you think of these videos compared to maybe some of the other ones that you've seen of ours. Thanks to all of you for always sticking with us, liking everything that we post and just sticking around for the journey. But anyway, that's enough of me rambling on. We really hope you enjoyed it. Stick around for the next one. If this is your first time to our channel or if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and make sure you drop the video a like and leave us any questions or comments you've got down below we'd love to hear your thoughts and answer any of your burning questions to do with van life van builds or just what we do in general stay tuned for the next one but until then we'll catch you next time